the process of carrying people or goods from one place to another is called transport. People use various means of transport to travel and carry goods to different places. People use different types of transport according to the distance they want to travel. Land Transport Many means of transport move on land. They are called the means of land transport. In villages, people use rickshaws, cycles, bullock carts and thongas for traveling and carrying goods. In cities and towns, people use buses, cars, bicycles, auto rickshaws and rickshaws according to the distance they want to travel. People use trains and buses to go to far off places. Goods trains and trucks are used for carrying different types of goods. In the desert, people use camels for traveling and carrying goods. In thick forests, elephants are used as the means of transport. Another mode of transport in some cities of India is the metro rail. It is very convenient, fast, comfortable and affordable mode of urban transport. The metros run in the cities of Delhi, Kolkata, Bangalore, Mumbai, Chennai and Jaipur. Water Transport People also depend on the means of water transport for traveling and carrying goods. They use boats and ships for traveling and carrying goods from place to place. Boats, steamers and ships are the means of water transport. Air Transport People also travel by aeroplanes. By aeroplane, one can travel to far off cities and other countries. It is the fastest means of transport. Aeroplanes and helicopters are the means of air transport. We live in a society. To maintain our social contact, we send and receive messages. The process by which we receive and send messages is called communication. Long ago, people sent messages through trained pigeons or messengers. The messengers used to go on foot or on animals. Nowadays, there are various means of communication which are easy and fast. Post Office We can send our message on a postcard, inland letter or in an envelope. We buy these things from a post office. We also use an aerogram to send our message to other countries. Do you write letters to your friends and relatives? You should write the complete address clearly. You should also write the PIN code in the address. It helps the letter to reach on time and at the right place. We can send urgent messages by speed post. Till 2013, we could also send our messages through a telegram. For this, we got a form from the post office. On this form, we wrote our message in a few words. We also wrote the name and address of the receiver on the form. The name and address of the sender were also written on the form. A message sent by telegram took a few hours to reach the addressee. In the year 2013, this service was closed. Telephone We can immediately send a message using a telephone. We can talk to our friends and relatives to give and receive messages over the telephone at the same time. We can talk to people living in our city, other cities and states or other countries over the telephone. To talk to people living in other cities and states, we use STD, Subscriber Trunk Dialing. And to make international calls, we use ISD, International Subscriber Dialing. Now, the mobile phones are also a very important means of communication. We can carry the mobile phones everywhere and we can use them anytime. Through the post office and telephone, we can send messages to one or a few people. But some messages are meant to be sent to a large number of people. For this, various other means of communication are used, such as newspaper, radio and television. These are known as means of mass communication or mass media. Newspapers A newspaper reaches different parts of the country within a day's time. People get messages and information from it on the same day. 
newspapers give detailed information of the happenings around the world. Radio and television. The messages and information broadcast on radio and television reach the people immediately. We can listen to various programs on the radio, but on television, we can watch various news bulletins, entertainment programs, sports programs, educational programs, etc. Radio and television are a boon for the people of our country who cannot read or write. They can watch the broadcasts or listen to them and thus keep themselves updated. Focus Television in India began as experimental service in September 1959. The regular service began in 1965. Internet The Internet is a computer system which helps us to get a lot of information. With the help of the Internet, we can send and receive messages by email. Do you communicate with your friends by email? 